Yep. What's good, everybody? It's NASA. Finally, bringing you another Battlefield 3 64 Man Conquest gameplay. And I told you guys, if you've been following the podcast, that I haven't been playing BF3 uh, in quite some time. The reason behind that is because every server I join is 500, 600, 700, 1,000 tickets. And I don't want to play one round for half an hour. I just don't. I'm not investing 30 minutes into one round of gameplay. I just, I just don't see the interest in that. You know, especially if one team is dominating, you're basically playing for wasted time for the second half of the round. So I finally found a server that has three, uh, 300 ticket uh, maps. Now this one is 400 tickets, but uh, maybe it's map uh, depending on the map it changes because this was 400, and the round before this was uh, Caspian board and it was only 300. So. I favorited this server, so you guys can expect to see more Battlefield 3 gameplay from me. Uh, now I've got a server favorite that I could just, you know, sign in and hop on and, and get my game on. Finally, man, you know, I, I don't want to sign on and spend half an hour just looking for a server. You know, I don't want to do that. So I got a server that's up and running now, 64 players. So uh, I'm happy about that. So I can finally get back into some BF3, man, because I really miss playing this game. Uh, the whole reason I got my PC was so I can play Battlefield 3 and it's unfortunate that I haven't been putting it to use really because of, uh, you know, because of this whole ticket situation. So anyway, to the gameplay. Uh, I don't usually play this map. It's not one of my favorites. Look at this off the hip action. Ah! But um, it's not usually one of my favorite maps to play. Um, you would think it would be because it's kind of close quarters. But uh... I don't think they put enough flank routes in this game, uh, on this map uh, in particular. So it's like this middle section is a long corridor where unless you got smoke bombs, there's really no way to get across here or smoke grenades or, or is there even smoke grenades in the game? I think somebody shoots smoke grenades, right? But anyway, so it's this long corridor and then you have the two outsides of the map and that's really it. Look at that nice grenade kill. And uh. And I don't really like the fact that there isn't much way to flank to get around. I mean, the, that hallway is always jam-packed. So you're never getting through there to, to go across the map. So you got to go across the edges. And usually on the edges, there's always a guy just sitting there camping with a sniper or something. So it's really hard to get around. Uh, you know, I guess you, you're forced to, like, use the vehicles and such. But, like, this is a nice example here. So this is the only alternative route of getting to A from the flags we have besides going through the middle and look at this I just got a cluster of guys here why because they have guys just standing there staring at the edge and that's it I mean it's lockdown because they don't got to look any other place except right at this corner because it's the only place you can come from so I think this map could have uh, got some uh, better uh, work on it done or, or some better uh, positioning on like the lanes and stuff like that I add some little you know different walkways to get inside I, I mean ah, but anyway so I was using the MP5 earlier but uh, or the G53 you know it's funny you see the rain hitting my glass I don't know if you know the little rain effects I didn't even know that this was a raining map uh, cause when I spawned, I looked up in the sky and I saw rain coming down. I'm like, yo, I never knew that, uh, it was raining on this map. And I didn't even notice them little water effects until I'm looking at the replay right now, which is pretty cool, but... Yeah, man, this is a, this is a rain map, but, uh, you don't really see the rain coming down. Isn't that the sun over there? So, what is that, a sun shower? Is there something going on? Or something like that. <laughs> but, Grand Bazaar is not really one of my favorites. Now, I'm really excited for the uh, close quarters combat DLC that's coming out and uh, oh before I even get into that check this out right I'm like you know what I was here long enough let me just throw a grenade get out of here and look at this mm, one piece two piece three piece four piece <laughs> multi uh, got a four piece with that grenade so um I actually got kind of hyped when I got that grenade kill and then I finished off this guy five kills five kills in like ten seconds but um, but yeah, so I'm really excited. Look at this guy get owned. 
I'm really excited. I don't know who shot me here. I even on the kill camera couldn't tell who shot me, but I'm really excited for the close quarters map pack. Um, some of the maps look actually really, really small. Now, I don't know how those are gonna play out, like especially on a conquest. I, I, I mean, I'm assuming they're gonna try to do a Call of Duty style and have just three flags, A, B, C, on like some real small maps. Now, I don't know how that's gonna play out with 60, <laughs> with 64 players, maybe um 32 players. But, uh, but yeah, I'm really excited for that because, you know, that's my thing. I like close quarters combat. I like engaging the enemy. Uh, I don't really like playing vehicle warfare, which actually leads me to the uh, second DLC, which is going to be a vehicle warfare, I think it's called, or something like that. Uh, DLC where it's like huge maps. They said the biggest Battlefield map in Battlefield history. Vehicles galore. And, I <laughs> and I'm like, yo, who's excited about that? <laughs> but... You know, I know, well, obviously, a lot of people are in vehicles majority of the time, so I know people do enjoy running the uh, the vehicles. I, I guess I just got to practice more. Um, I really just can't, I can't do the choppers, man. I just can't. Uh, I have no idea how to fly them, especially with mouse and keyboard. I mean, I have to just get, like, a joystick or something because I can't do it. can't do it with a mouse and keyboard. So, matter of fact, well, nah, nah. So, I can't do it with mouse and keyboard. So... Uh, I'm not really excited for that map pack and then the third one is like undisclosed no no news no no nothing about that but um, I'm sure they're what they're really gonna do is just gauge feedback from the first two DLCs and then figure like a good median in between so you know I got faith in them to make the right decisions uh, I know there's a huge patch that's supposed to be coming out that's not out yet that's gonna be fixing and addressing a lot of stuff in this game a lot of weapon balances, a lot of game balances, and I can't wait for that patch to come. I don't know when it's supposed to be coming out, but I'm really looking forward to that. Um, fix a few things about the game. Look at how quick I turn on this guy. Now, my aim is really poor in this game because I haven't played in a long time, and I got to get used to the recall and such, but um, it just feels good. I mean, this game, the, the gun mechanics in this game feel right. They're not too easy. They're not too hard. Uh, you know... They got different rates of fire. Um, you can take your time. You can, you can hold down the trigger. You can burst. I mean, it really gives you a lot, a lot of options on how you want to, you know, go, go at it as far as gun, gunplay wise. And I think this is the best gunplay in any game to date. Um, I don't think any other game has really uh, got it. So where it's, it's balanced and even and not too cheesy or, or none of that really. And. Um, and I think it was really good. I, I really like the way the guns play in this game. It gives you a good feeling, especially when you drop like two, three guys, get a double or a triple kill. It uh, it, it really is a rewarding feeling for doing good because you, you feel like you can't just spray and pray. You actually had to have some skill to, 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 to do that, you know, to pull that off. So, here I just was like, I knew these guys were that. I just was hoping I could just hit fire somebody, but... You see it's a real close game going down to the wire. Right now we're down four tickets, three tickets, two tickets, four tickets. <laughs> and I get these I get this dude here and I think I finished off one more guy who was uh I don't know what he was doing. He was staring over this this little hill right here, right? But I don't know what he was doing, but I'm gonna say I was the reason for this victory with those uh two kills I got right there. I sealed the deal. Cause now it's tied, four kills a piece or four tickets a piece. I'm trying to neutralize this flag. I see somebody's on. I was trying to find him so I could get that last kill to make us win. Game ends. We get the victory. Three tickets. We won by. Three tickets to zero. So a real nice close game. I didn't beast. I finished in fifth place. Um, you know, this is the typical battlefield game. You're not playing to go 40 and 0. You're playing, you know, play the objective to try to win. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's been a long time since I posted Battlefield 3. But uh, there will be more coming. Alright? Peace. I'm out. New York stand up.